So I'm Sarah Shavich, I'm a primatologist from Liverpool John Morse University and I study great apes and predominantly uh, orangutans in Indonesia and Malaysia. The, the two main threats to Borneo orangutans are hunting and, and forest loss. You know, a large part of the state is, is oil palm. That has led to uh, a lot of losses of habitat where orangutans once occurred. To improve upon our current method of counting, we really need to find out a way that we can reduce the error margin so that we can detect changes in population numbers and thereby determine the impact of our conservation strategies better. So here in, in, in Saba, in collaboration with WWF, we're trialing a new method. Not from the ground, but from the air. Orangutans, like all mammals, produce heat. And with infrared cameras, we're trying to detect that heat when they're in their nests from the air by having an infrared camera on a drone while it flies over the forest. We've been collaborating with an unlikely partner uh, from science, the astrophysicists. The approach we've been taking here in, in, in Saba is to follow orangutans to their nest. And once they make the nest, we take the location, we program the drone to fly over the nest, take the infrared images so we can determine whether we can detect the orangutan or not. In the morning it's best because the forest had had all night to cool down, lose its heat, and then the animals really stand out and you can detect them very, very well. We've been extremely successful with detecting the orangutans in their nests from, from various heights. By a certain amount of vegetation we can still pick up their signal. The next step is to make these methods more affordable so we can conduct them more often and in more areas uh, and thereby improve our management uh, of, of orangutan.